Hey everyone, I'm Airwing Marine. Welcome back to the channel and my next Escape from Tarkov video. We're going to talk about early items to keep here. This is going to exclude barters. I'm going to do that in another video because it's a much longer, much bigger video. I just want to get stuff that's not barter related into here so you guys know what to look out for in your raids in the Fresh Wipe. So let's get right into it. All right, so for tasks, that's where we're going to start off first. The items that you need to be keeping an eye out for, and if you get them, you need to get out of raid with. Uh, gas analyzers. These are used, you need three of these all together, one of them for the first one, two of them for the second one with therapist. You can find the gas analyzers in filing cabinets, in jackets, uh, in interchange is a really good place with the, the front of Ollie uh, or the back of the entire store, the office and idea. Um, basically all over interchange, there's spawns for them quite a few places, tech spawns too. Uh, they're all over, but they're going to be in high demand right now. Uh, so keep them, keep your mind out for that. Flash drives. Now keep these as you find them. You need five of them all together found in raid. Two for one, three for another task. Uh, and, and they can be a bear. So I'm down to, I think I've got two now. Um, I'm not there yet, so we'll keep looking for them. You'll find these uh, in front of computers, on the bottom of computers. You'll find them in safes. You'll find them in filing cabinets. You can find them in jackets uh, and, and stashes, uh, hidden stashes. On the food side, you need to keep Ameliorite croutons, Erska lunchboxes, and the delicious cans of beef stew, which are the tall cans of Tashunka, um, the ones you start off with, uh, at start the wipe off with, but aren't found in raid. Uh, you can use them to barter for BT ammo as well. Um, those all need to be kept for the first task with proper. And then as well as 3M body armor and tauses. Uh, these are for the first task with skier. You need one of the white 3M body armors, the white ones that say tar bank on them, and then uh, any kind of toss. It doesn't matter what it is, any toss will do. Uh, other good things to keep are elite pliers because you need two of these to do a barter for a shotgun to do mechanic, which will help you do mechanics gunsmith ta task. Uh, you really only have to buy a couple of parts after you do that barter, but it's two elites and one red screwdriver. So you need those. Uh, 206 key. You need to keep this for project Aquarius. Um, you'll find it from time to time before you need it. Sometimes you can get lucky and get the task done because somebody else opened it up for you. But if you see that 206 key, put it in your secure container uh, and get out. Make sure you get out of raid with it because you will need it later. And then the factory key. Not only is it worth a bunch of money, but this allows you to use an extract on customs. The extract that's under Alamo uh, when you turn the power on, TB uh, ZB13, I believe is what it is, or ZB14. Um, and uh, as well as use the shortcut on customs and then all the factory exits, uh, which is a good thing as well on the factory map. For the hideout, um, there's a couple items. There's a lot of items you need now to actually get uh, going there. For the laboratory, you need one soap, one toothpaste. Now this is the green one, not the orthodonto, um, and one roll of toilet paper. For the workbench, you need two bolts and two screw nuts. Uh, as well as the pliers, the multi-tool that you can buy from Mechanic. For the med station, you need one pile of meds and one syringe. For heating, you need two matches. Uh, for the generator, you need a spark plug. And then for the nutrition unit, you need two phase relays. You're gonna need four duct tapes all in for a couple of different modules, and then three more if you wanna get your shooting range going. So seven duct tapes all in for that. Uh, and then you need a measuring tape for your security. Now, if you don't have EOD and you need to upgrade your stash, you're gonna need four WD-40 um, 100 millimeter cans. There's two kinds of WD-40, uh, the big one and the little one, the 100 millimeter is what you need. You need a hand drill, you need five packs of nails and 10 packs of screws. Now this is to get you to stash level two plus the money. All of this requires a bunch of money as well. So keep that in mind, you need to generate money. Upgrading your stash will very quickly drain how much money you have in your inventory. Now to get money, this is much more difficult now. It used to be just get to level 10 and you had infinite money uh, to do uh, uh, anything else you wanted to do with. We're past that now. Now you're level 20. So you need to do something to get to level 20 as far as making money on the side. And safes, in my opinion, are probably the best way to do this. Not, not only because they give you money, but the items inside safes sell to vendors for quite a bit, especially for their slot price. Right now you're looking for stuff that can push five, 6,000 a slot and you're doing pretty good to sell to vendors. Um, guns are also another pretty good option. Now, people are having a problem, they get out of raid with gun, they can't sell it. What you can do is you can disassemble the gun, sell all the parts to either mechanic or skier, and then sell the, the one gun piece itself to fence. That is gonna be your best way to make money with guns you get out of raid with that you're not gonna use, that are broken and you can't do them. Also, barter for items rather than buy them. Go look through your barters on what you see you need and keep those items. I'm gonna do a whole nother video on that because it's gonna be a long video because there's a shitload of barters uh, they're going to be worth a bunch now that we are in this 
reality where you're level 20 to the flea market uh, that's going to change things up a lot and you're going to be really heavily dependent on barters to get some of your items uh, to get through raids and once I get to level 20 myself and I can get the flea market opened up and we can see how much this is going to change the dynamic of the flea market which I believe it's going to change it a ton uh, we'll talk more about that um, but I hope this is helpful. I wish you guys luck. I hope you guys are having better luck than me. The game has actually been absolutely been kicking my butt. I had a rough first day of the wipe. Uh, we're getting ready to go start a second one, though, and hopefully have a little bit better luck at it. So we'll see you in Tarkov. Well, that wraps up the video. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that like button because it helps out the channel a bunch. And subscribe for future content. We also have a Discord. Link's down in the description that you can come join. We're filling up with a bunch of chill people who just love to play Tarkov. If you're looking to support the channel in other ways, we've launched a Patreon with some benefits like access to a Discord channel, a constantly updated spreadsheet for my hideout calculations, and some other things if you want to go check it out over there. Lastly, thanks for your support on YouTube. It means the world to me and I greatly appreciate every one of you. So with that, we'll wrap up up and we'll see you in Tarkov.